brothers and sisters living within the walls of the Miracle Box. On this special day, I brought you some delicious cheese. Kwamis remain a fundamental part of Miraculous Ladybug. Since the first season, they have grown from plot devices and magical companions to lifelong friends of the heroes. Each one has a developed personality with known likes and dislikes. The series ensured their stakes in the fifth season would leave the audience on the edge of their seats. Desperate to see the Kwamis rescued and returned to the Miracle Box. Fortunately, the season finale does just that and then some. Marinette decides that every Miraculous will return to their rightful wielder, allowing all of the previous heroes from the past four seasons to have constant access to their superpowers. It also means that all the Kwamis will be active in the same location, potentially for the first time, and many new story elements could occur in the sixth season. We'll discuss what's next for the Kwamis in today's video. We won't make it, Sass! We are missing a few Kwamis. We need the Peafowl. We've not heard from her in such a long time now. Number 1. Kwame Wielder Bonds from the beginning of the first season, Tiki and Plague have built their bonds with their respective wielders. Tiki and Marinette have acted as a team from the start, learning to depend on one another and value each other's opinion. With Tiki sharing parts of herself she's ashamed of in Dearest Family, eventually coming around to believing Marinette will accept her no matter what. Plague has a more challenging time accepting and trusting Adrian, lying or omitting information to him unnecessarily in episodes like Sandboy. Due to every Kwame having unique personalities and experiences with past wielders, the way they interact with their wielders now that they live together will change and evolve. Some interactions will be more complex than most. For example, Dusu has caused fatal illnesses to her past wielders while having her mind clouded by a broken miraculous. Now that she's with Felix, she can build a genuine relationship with a wielder who cares for her and will have no repercussions for using her power. Some Kwame and Wielder pairs couldn't be more perfect. Luca and Sass will likely have an easy time adjusting to life together, as will Kim and Shupu. In contrast, other combinations may encounter conflicts throughout the early weeks of living together. For example, Nino is passionate and outspoken and tends to jump into danger if it means helping his friends. Waze has previously spent the past century with the overly cautious and introverted Fu, and the two Wielders couldn't be more different. Hey, little guy, what are you? A genie like in those fairy tales? I am a Kwame. I can't grant wishes, but I can give you superpowers. Number 2. True Forms Many fans suspected that the Kwamis had true forms early on, as magical cosmic beings tend to have more grand appearances than the small animals and bugs they represent in the series. Tiki and Plague reveal their true forms in recreation, after Gabriel apprehends their miraculouses and forces them to do so. They become towering entities, still reminiscent of the Black Cat and Ladybug. However, they each have several arms, eminent light, and have wings. These godly forms lead toward what the audience expects when they view the Kwamis as a concept and show what the Kwamis are capable of. The Kwamis also have a secondary form, seemingly after they unify. Their unifications follow the same premise as when wielders combine miraculouses, resulting in an altered appearance and an entirely new Kwami. When Tiki and Plague unified, they created Gimme, the Kwami of reality. Whether the other Kwamis can unify similarly is unknown, creating new entities with entirely new powers. Still, if so, then they are likely less powerful than Gimme and incapable of completely altering the universe. While the Miraculouses can combine in various ways, likely the Kwamis can only unify within their yin-yang pair, as Suhan mentions in Furious Fu. Tiki and Plague only show their true forms when forced but can reveal themselves without outside influence. Tiki nearly does so in Dearest Family when her cravings become intense and cloud her judgment. However, doing so may have had dire consequences as the other Kwamis worry about Tiki's actions when in that state of mind. Some other Kwamis may have something that pressures them to reveal their true forms, be it something stressful or out of desire to protect their wielder from danger. I am Tiki, the Kwame of creation. I am everything that isn't yet and is yet to be. Number 3. Powers One of the primary reasons the Kwamis allowed themselves to become bound to Miraculouses was because they couldn't use their powers without consequences or peculiar changes to the environment. One of their rules throughout the series is that they can't use their powers, or something terrible may happen. But there are numerous occasions when they're left without a choice. Some examples include Trix creating an illusion in Gang of Secrets, so Marinette can escape numerous villains, Kalki transporting the heroes in Optigami, and Sass refusing time to prevent Shadow Moth from making his wish in Ephemeral. The ramifications for each use vary. Trix makes a massive illusion of the Eiffel Tower moving, Kalki misplaces objects, and Sass brings people and objects from different periods to the present. 
It's possible that using their powers could impact the world for weeks at a time, as Plague mentions that Tiki once made it rain chocolate. Most of the time, Marinette can reverse the damage or ramifications with a lucky charm. However, she may not have that ability if she isn't Ladybug, mainly when a Kwame uses their abilities in the future. Most of the time, Marinette is aware that when a Kwame plans to use their power, she must fix whatever the consequence is. However, suppose a Kwame uses their power while away from Ladybug, perhaps to prevent a villain from escaping or harming their wielder. In that case, it's possible a lucky charm may not reverse the damage. Instead, the people of Paris may have to live with unique events around the city, which can make for some amusing scenes in future seasons. Marinette must not reveal her secret. Marat! Number 4. Past Experiences It's easy to forget due to their cute and approachable appearances, but many of the Kwamis have existed for centuries, with Tiki living as long as the universe itself. They have witnessed countless events, including the existence of the dinosaurs and the dawn of humanity. Additionally, as revealed by Tiki in Miraculous World Paris, they exist in countless universes simultaneously and retain knowledge about their experiences. The Kwamis, although seemingly unlikely, must have endless wisdom about humanity and the universe's development. Unfortunately, all of the Kwamis are partnered with teenage wielders at the current moment, meaning they have to help them navigate the responsibilities of active heroes and the trials of growing up. Like Tiki tells Marinette, the Kwamis usually keep their knowledge of other universes a secret as it can go beyond human comprehension, and they won't be able to recount all their experiences within a single human lifetime. In recreation, Gimme sounds tired of granting humans wishes as if they have done so countless times before and may believe their desires are trivial. Fortunately, most of the Kwamis seem much kinder and more understanding than Gimme and may jump at the chance to offer advice to their wielders based on their experiences. For example, Tiki often suggests that Marinette remain honest and straightforward about her feelings while discouraging some of her more convoluted plans. Plague, meanwhile, is more of a trickster who tries to manipulate a situation to get what he wants, encouraging Adrian to do the same in beloved episodes like Kuroneko. Kwamis are able to communicate with their kind on their cycle or birthday, but we won't get another opportunity for a long time. Number 5. Secret Interactions some of the Kwamis will undoubtedly continue to interact with one another more than others. For example, after Tiki and Plague learn the secret identities of their wielders, they begin visiting one another during the school day, which leads to the events of Kwami Buster. Some of the Kwamis will learn the identities of their wielders without trying and likely interact with one another daily. For example, Nino and Alia know one another as heroes, so ways and tricks will constantly communicate with one another and each other's wielders. Since their wielders are siblings, Sass and Roar will live in the same location. While they may try to keep the identities of their wielders a secret, it's only a matter of time before they come into contact with one another and then can continue spending time together in secret. However, the same can be said for many wielders. Numerous friendships and couples exist among the French superhero team, with pairs like Ivan and Mylene, Felix and Kagami, and Nathaniel and Mark, who spend most of their free time together. Your owners were wise to give you permission to come. Yes, Sass, Mero! <laughs> Many new exciting things occurred for the Kwame lovers of Miraculous Ladybug throughout the last season and recent specials. We've since learned that Kwamis have true forms, exist in numerous universes simultaneously, and can combine just like Miraculouses. There seems to be no limit to what their powers are capable of. With a new generation of heroes to guide them, they may unlock new abilities unknown to previous wielders and the Order of Guardians alike. Additionally, the series has left room for new relationships and bonds to form between the wielders and Kwamis alike, ensuring that Season 6 will have equal parts action and compelling narrative throughout. We have a special opportunity to create connection with Nuru. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. If one of us stays here to keep watch, the rest of us can come, right? Huh, what? Of course not.